So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can have a multi-camera setup within OBS so that you can record with one camera or you can record with another camera or you could even have it to where multiple cameras are showing at the same time. And all of this can be done really easily within OBS. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. Okay, so here we are in my desktop and I'm gonna be showing you how to do this within OBS. But at the same time, I am screen recording this using a different screen recorder. So you probably see that my audio is not gonna be in sync with my video, but that's why you're seeing this difference in audio and video sync. And so once you're in OBS, it's very important that you obviously must have a video source. In this case, we're gonna have multiple video sources. And so what I am gonna be showing you how to do is showing you how to create scenes, how to add your sources, and then also how to kind of like adjust the scenes so that you could have different angles, but at the same time, you could also do things like a split screen. So this is gonna be a very, very simple tutorial for people who are brand new to OBS or people who probably never used this feature before. So if this is something that you're really well versed in, it's gonna be very basic. So let's go ahead and start off with this whole idea of scenes because within OBS, you can create multiple scenes. And so in this case, we're gonna go ahead and create one. I'm gonna go down here to this ad and you can name the scene whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call this one camera one. Okay, so we say okay. And once I've done that, we're down here in the camera one. So as you can see right now, there's absolutely nothing here because you need to add a source. And so all you're gonna do is go down here to this plus add and then go to video capture device and in this case, you can name your video capture device, whatever you want. Now I've already created some, so I'm gonna show you if you already had some, you could go down here to add existing. So in this case, I'm gonna first add my webcam, which is my 1080p webcam. So I'll go ahead and add that. So as you can see what happens, you can actually see something on the screen. But what's important here is whenever it first set this up, you're gonna to have to set a few properties. And so you're gonna go here to your source. You can either right click and go to properties or you can go to properties here, or there's a gear icon for properties right here. So it's very important that you select the right device. And so the first thing is on my dropdown, I actually have two different USB sources. One is my USB, which is for my capture card. And I'll talk a little bit about that when we get to the second camera. And then my HD Pro webcam C920, which is my Logitech camera, which is what you're seeing right here. And the input is camera one. And video format, it defaults to YUYV422, but at least for me, BGR3 emulated looks the best and it has the least issue whenever it comes to syncing. And this is my resolution for my webcam, it's 1920 by 1080. And there are some other settings you could set right here below it, but I'll just go ahead and say okay. Now, as you can see here, there is a red border around my actual camera. And so in this case, my screen resolution on my monitor, it is a 2K resolution. And so the resolution is definitely larger than my camera. So that's why you see all this black space here. And so if you also see something like this, then you can resize this. So as you can see here, you can resize your webcam source. You can move it around. But if you wanted to fill the whole screen, without having to manually do this, you could right click and then you could go here to your transform right here. And then you could say stretch to screen or fit to screen. And I would say fit to screen works better because it doesn't distort the image when you try to stretch to fit the screen. Now, if you are okay with this, you could go ahead and either lock this right here. So now, it won't change the dimensions, you can't move it around, which is nice because this is the actual size that you want for this scene. And so that's how you would add your first camera source. Okay, so now that we have our first camera source, let's go ahead and add another one. So this is a very similar process. You go ahead and go down here to add, we're gonna end scene camera. I'm just gonna call it camera main, okay. And now we have our brand new scene and we'll go ahead and add a source and I already have it. It's right here, my G85 camera. 
So as you can see here, here's my second source. And I'm going to go to the property so you can kind of see what I have. So it is a USB. And this is very important here. If you are adding a camera, okay, instead of another USB source, you're going to need some type of capture card. And I did do a previous video where um, I show you how to do this with a capture card that's like less than $30. And so if you wanted to see that video and get the same capture card, I will leave that video in the description area below and also links to the product if that's something that you want. So you can check that out after you watch that video. But in this case, I have it on my device USB video one and everything else is the same. And you can choose the resolution, but in this case, I go ahead and leave it unchanged because it will go ahead and recognize the resolution automatically. And this is also a 1080p resolution that I have here. So once I have it, I'll do the same thing as the day before. I'm gonna go ahead and go to transform and then fit to screen and then I can lock it. And now, as you see, I have my second camera source. And so now that you have multiple camera sources, you could also switch between these by just creating some shortcuts. So let me show you how that works. And so in this case, we're gonna go down here to settings and then I'm gonna to go to hotkeys. And what you're gonna see is if you scroll down, you're gonna see all the various scenes that you created and it's in alphabetical order. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to camera one and camera main, okay? And you see the option here called switch to scene. Okay, so all you have to do is put in whatever shortcut key that you want or combination that you could assign to, to switch between these scenes. So in this case, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna put a number. So for camera one, I'm gonna say eight. Camera main, I'm gonna say nine. And I'm gonna apply and say okay. So now that you've done that, you could go ahead and use your shortcut hotkey. So if I press eight, it goes to my webcam as you can see here if I press 9 it goes back to my main camera and so as you can see here we've set up multiple scenes we've set up uh, shortcut hotkeys to jump between the scenes and then on this final step I'm gonna be showing you how to do things that are a little bit more creative so in this case we're just gonna do a split screen and I'm also gonna show you how you could do a simple uh, desktop with your camera or cameras all on the same scene for the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10 plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so what we're going to do first is create another scene. So you should be really used to this by now. So we'll add a scene, just call it a split, say OK. And now we already have our two video sources. So we're going to go ahead and add them down here. Add existing I'm gonna add my webcam first and so if you recall you can adjust this okay so I can resize it I could move things around and so I'm gonna go ahead and add this first so I'm gonna add it right here and I'm gonna expand this and you could play around with this you know until you get it the way that you want so now we have our 1080p webcam so now I'm gonna add my second source which is my camera I'm gonna add that Go here to add existing, add my camera, and now here's my camera. And so this is something that's really interesting. If you go down here to sources, wherever your source is, so this one's at the top, it's going to be on top of this one. But if you wanted to move this one on top, you can choose it and choose this plus sign and it'll move it up. So now this one's on top. So I'm going to move back down to the bottom because I want this camera on top. So we'll do the same thing as we did before. So there's my split screen and there I am with this camera source and just like before you can lock these so if you like this go ahead and lock it and just like before you can create shortcut hotkeys for this but I'm not going to do it and so that's how you could get a little bit creative and at any time you could also readjust these you know so if I wanted to readjust the size or position I could do that so right here I like this better and then I just lock it and there it is. So I have my split screen scene. <laughs> and then the final thing I wanna show you is, say for example, you wanna have your camera source on top of a desktop or a window. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna add another scene and I'm just gonna call this desk. Say okay. 
So let's go to your sources. And in this case, I actually want to do a screen capture. So I want to do a video where I have my entire screen capture. Now I already have one, so I'm going to add one that's already existing, but it would have captured the whole screen. So I'll say, okay. So right now things look really weird because I'm looking at a screen within a screen. So there is my screen. And in this case, I could go ahead and add my video sources. So I could add my webcam first right here and then I could resize this as you can see here and then I could also add my camera boom and I could also resize that as well so I have something like this which looks pretty cool and let me see how this looks like uh, whenever I make this like full screen it'll probably look really weird yeah it looks weird because it's showing my OBS but that's how it would look like and if I recorded this on OBS it'll look a lot better so as you can see here is my camera then over here I have my webcam and both of these are on top of my desktop so that is it on this video on how you could actually create multiple camera sources or even multiple camera angles using OBS and how you could also be a little bit more creative and adjust where your various camera sources are shown and how they're shown. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my OBS tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.